a lot of us are thinking into the future. Most achievers, if you will notice, think more future-based than they do past-based. And of course, there's some exceptions to the rule, but we're always thinking, dreaming, you know, about the vision and what we want our life to be. And but here's the issue with that: when you start thinking in that way, it's great from the standpoint of, well, it's, you got a vision, you got a picture, you're working towards, it, and that's great. But you know what happens? A lot of times, you're not fully happy in the present. You're working towards it. There's a lot of stress. There's a lot of challenges. A lot of issues, and we forget to be happy in the present. And so we're always looking for what can be improved. And another way of saying that, Andrew, is we're always looking for what's wrong with the current situation. I'm going to say this bluntly. This is at a very high level, because it's easy for someone to say, "Yeah, you can do it. You know, go have your vision, have your goals, go for it." Well, you can. But the problem is, is that if you're only happy once you reach those goals. You might have five or ten or twenty years of unhappiness before you ever get there. So I noticed that for myself. That when I was young and I quote unquote inexperienced at the time, it was all about the future. Everything was the future, and if I wasn't getting there fast enough, I would get bummed out, pissed off. And so I started to realize that I need to cherish each and every moment along the way. That the journey was important. It wasn't just the result. And certainly, everyone's heard that before. But hearing it and living it are planets apart. And when you're in the throes of trying to create something for yourself and looking for the right thing to do and your right direction, it's easy to just kind of go, "Oh man, today sucks." In comparison, so my whole life, Andrew, was all about the grass is greener. When I get over there tomorrow, when this happens, finally, then. I'm really going to feel good. Then I'm going to be happy. Then I'm going to have finally made what I want. And it just wasn't working for me because I wasn't getting where I wanted that quickly, and so I wasn't very happy all the time, or a lot of the time. And so I created this phrase as a reminder to tell me this is it, meaning there is no better there than here. The grass is not going to be greener over there than over here. Our mind, and everybody's going to listen to this, and and again, this is the voice of stupidity turned into experience that's speaking right now. If people ask me, Andrew, what's the best thing you can bring to people? I can tell you what I did that didn't work. Okay, that's what I can do really well, and what I do now that does work. But. Really thinking about always about what's wrong with the present, what could be better. The grass is greener. When I get there, over it, then everything will be great. Then I'll really be happy. Then I'll really feel great. That was one of the biggest mistakes I ever made in my whole life. And here's the reason why, everyone. It's because I'm sure you've heard this before. Fortunately or unfortunately, you take yourself with you wherever you go. And what's the problem? The problem is me. The problem is you. It's not the external situation. It's never the external situation. And what that means is that we start thinking about, oh, in the future things will be better. In the future things will be better. In the future I'll feel good. In the future I'll be happy. But here's the problem: that phrase, "In the future I will be," becomes your automatic habit. And so, even when things are good. You wouldn't even recognize it because your normal brain function phrase is, "Oh, it'll be better later." And when I get to another hundred thousand, when I get to another million, that's when it'll be really good. And it just becomes this treadmill of, "When this happens, then I will." And that is a mind habit. And unless you break out of that habit, I will tell you this right now: you can have a billion dollars. You can have your life perfectly together, and you will not be happy. You will always feel like something is awry, something is missing, unsatisfied. It'll never come together for you for your entire life. Why? Not because it's not together, because you don't see it. Because all you see is the future. So this is a long way of saying, very, very long way of saying, this is it. There is no better. Then than now, there is no better there than here. This is as good as it's ever going to get. And if you cannot appreciate and enjoy this moment right now, if you cannot train yourself, train yourself, habitualize yourself to enjoy this moment, I promise you this, everyone, you'll never enjoy any moment.